Hello and welcome back everybody to another 10 Shadow video. Today we are in lesson 4 of this FS Academy Jetliner training series. This lesson is all about the cruise, so let's hop in. Huh. Looks like we're in a stable state. Like before, keep the autopilot and auto thrust engaged with the levers in the climb detent. Let's check the climb. Yep. And we are heading to 34,000. We we're a little low when we jumped in. Welcome to the stratosphere. In the 1950s, airlines used propeller aeroplanes, which had a maximum altitude of rarely more than 30,000 feet. Weather systems and cloud buildups can easily outclimb these now vintage aircraft, putting your cruising altitude in amongst the turbulence, icing and clouds. The jet engine changed all of this. With a great leap forwards in power, greater speeds and altitudes were now within reach. RA320 can go up to 39,000 feet, whilst other types can climb as high as 45,000 feet. Flying higher has some distinct advantages. It puts us above all but the very tallest thunderstorms, giving a smoother ride. The thinner air also means we have less aerodynamic drag, so we cover ground much more quickly than at lower levels. We can see evidence of this rarefied atmosphere by comparing our indicated airspeed with our true airspeed. Looking at the speed tape on the PFD, it's reading about 270 knots. Mm -hmm. Now look at the top left corner of the navigation display, ND, and see a true airspeed of 440. The difference between these two speeds is all to do with the drop in air density with altitude. To understand this, we need to touch upon how an airspeed indicator works. The airspeed indicator is essentially a pressure gauge, detecting the force of the air hitting the nose of the aeroplane. The higher the pressure reading, the higher the airspeed indication. This works fine at low levels, but up here in the higher atmosphere, the air is so much thinner that it causes the airspeed indicator to under-read. True airspeed is corrected for altitude, so shows a much more accurate indication of our speed through the air. The skies are busier than ever, so ATC often give us heading changes to maintain our separation from other airliners. Jetliner 488, turn left, 20 degrees for spacing and report the heading. Left 20 degrees onto heading 150, Jetliner 488. Turn the heading knob and select a heading of 150, pulling to select heading mode. Alrighty. Let's pause track hour for a second. So let's see, we gotta turn it to 250, 250. And down arrow. Another method of keeping aeroplanes apart is by allocating a speed to maintain. Because of the airspeed altitude complications we touched on earlier, indicated airspeed isn't a consistent method for en route speed control. Instead, we use another measurement of speed called our Mach number. Mach number is our speed in relation to our local speed of sound. Whilst the speed of sound varies with altitude, it remains useful for keeping traffic separation. Mach 1 is equal to the speed of sound at our current altitude. 
Mach 0.7 is 70% of the speed of sound, and so on. Now the speed target is in Mach mode. Jetliner 488, Mach 0.74 or less due traffic. Mach 0.74 or less, Jetliner 488. Turn the speed knob and select Mach 0.74. Okay. 74. Now you'll see the thrust reduce and the Mach number reduce, shown at the bottom left of the PFT. Yep, that's what it looks like. Jetliner 488, own navigation direct to Gayak. Direct Gayak, Jetliner 488. Alright, let's get back onto our flight plan route. We've been cleared to Gayak. Press the direct button on the FMGC and enter Golf Alpha India using the FMGC's keyboard. Golf Alpha India. Once GAI is in your scratch pad at the bottom of the screen, Click the very top left button to enter Gayak as a temporary waypoint. Okay. This will make a yellow line on the ND appear pointing to Gayak. Press the bottom right line key where it says direct. Yep, there's the yellow line and we'll go ahead and push the direct button now. That's it. Now push the heading knob on the FCU to engage nav mode. That's up. There we go. All right, we got it. Good, now we're turning towards Gayak and returning to our flight plan route. Jetliner 488, clear of traffic, free speed. Free speed, Jetliner 488. Our Mach number speed limit has been canceled. Select Mach 0.78. Now watch how long it takes us to accelerate at this altitude. With these high altitudes, slowing down was no trouble. Speeding up, however, can take a while. Speeding up, all right. Seven, five, five. We have a little bit of a wobble. Good job. Let's pick this up once we're getting nearer to our top of descent. Alrighty. 